Okay, it's Mike back with you. Shooting the black around this. This X here. What I've done is I came in. I would have videotaped it, but it just takes forever. I mean, I've spent with an exacto knife going around all these letters over 45 minutes. I don't want uh, the video to be that long. And I will go in and show you some cutting on some other ones so that you can kind of see how I'm doing it. The main thing is just keep a real sharp blade in your exacto knife so you're not having to push real hard. And you just, you learn. It takes time, but you, you just got to practice at it and you'll learn how hard to push. But if you can see, I've cut these letters out. Because there's multiple colors going around these letters. And what I've done is this yellow right here. Remember this was yellow in the last video. So the yellow, I've took my letters. Remember how I had the letters out here? I had them covered up that I cut out of here. Well, I've taken those letters and put them back in here to cover this back up. And you can see why now. Because now I've covered up my yellow and I can do this outline in black. I'm just going here. Now the other thing, because this is, this paper, it's a frisket paper and it's a real low adhesion tack. So it don't stick real hard. So what you do is you turn your airbrush down. I've got it down to around 30 pounds right now. And I'm blowing straight down. Because if I blow at an angle, either way, it's going to try to blow up underneath this paper. I don't want that. So I'm blowing straight down. I've got the air pressure turned way down. And uh, that way you're not putting a lot of force on this paper edge, allowing paint to drift on me. Okay, so just went in covered everything and we'll unmask this and uh, we'll see what it looks like. So what we'll do is we'll just pull off some of these pieces here. real critical to save these pieces. So just save them. Put them back out here on your on another area somewhere. It's real good if you if you got another surface that's like painted because it'll stick to that real real good and stay if you try to put it on top of paper. Uh, certain papers. Now this paper I'm using here it's a masking paper but it's it's got a real slick finish so it don't allow this here to stick to this real hard like a regular paper would, if that makes sense. You can see I pulled that off. Just find our edges here. Okay, so there you can kind of see, gives you an idea. So there's the yellow. We've done the last video. Now we've done the black. And we'll come back in and we will pull all this off and then go in and start doing all these other edges because there's other colors in here too. There's going to be a, a red. Well, actually, on this one, it'll be a purple. On the, on the other one that I'm using, for example, uh, it's a his and hers. His is red, hers, this one is going to be purple. So in here is going to be purple. And then on this other end, can't see it because I've got it covered up, but uh, it will be, it'll say D3, and it'll be in purple, and then it's also going to have these outlines uh, in different colors, black and, and white showing through as well. So, catch the next video, and we'll do some more.